2024. Early start, prepping the uh, patio. The guys will be here shortly to get cracking on. All these, all these slabs are going to come up. Quite a big area to be fair, all along there. And then they're going to do all in front of the pond, all in front of that shed, down and in front of the filter house. I've had to move the grow on over there, ready for um, to clear that area obviously. So yeah, quite a few slabs there to come up. Oh, sorry, light's gone off. Yeah, quite a few slabs there to come up. All in all, 98 square metres. They've got a light. Pond's all covered up. A bit of frost this morning, so. I don't know whether anybody else has had any frost. But yeah, that's the start. January the 6th. Sorry. Yes, January the 6th, 2024. as they go along it's going to take a few weeks because they can only do it on weekends because they they trade during the during the week thanks so that's the end of uh, day one so it's all dug off as I said earlier the guys um, I've got a day job so they do this on the weekends. So next weekend they're going to uh, stone it up on the Saturday and then hopefully on the Sunday start laying the new patio and obviously the paths along there. So yeah, that, that's the update for now. Come back to you on the next stage. Thanks. Right guys, Saturday the 20th of January. Um, the patio continues. It's been a bit uh, slow because the guys have been ill. So they've only just come back to work, basically. As I said, they can only do it on weekends, but started stoning. So uh, they've just gone to get another load of stone. Obviously they've got a stone all along here, raised level at the top, and then they're going to slab all round this, as I said before. So yeah, that's just a quick update guys, when I get another update, I'll tag it on. Thanks a lot guys. So Sunday now, the 21st. Lads have been this morning and stoned it all up. Ready for uh, next weekend when they start laying. This has got a bit more work to be done because this is going to be built up to the same height as the um, slabs there. So that will be a raised area. So when we've got the patio set on there, you can look into the pond. Um, also got a slab all down there as I said before so all this has got to be slabbed all that's got to be slabbed all round here and all round there so that, that's it for this weekend Let's see what next weekend brings thanks guys so 10 to 8 Sunday morning 28th of January I wasn't here around yesterday because I went out with the lads on the road trip. Um, but the lads was here yesterday laying the first lot of slabs, so this is where we're at to at the moment. So, <laughs> looking good at the minute. Uh, obviously, they've done all along the earth, they're leaving that. That's a raised level, that is, so that, that'll be leaving that until the last, I presume, because hopefully they'll get all this filled in today with a bit of luck. Um, 
and then they can move on to the paths in front of the shed and in front of the food shed. And I can move the go on back up to there. So yeah, uh, the flower bed will stay in here. Probably be a bit, a bit narrow or tapered, probably. But we'll see. Cross that bridge when we come to it. But yeah, they've done a, a cracking job yesterday. They did uh, really get on with it. So yeah, I'll leave it at that. Update you soon. Thanks. So Saturday, February the 3rd, patio continues. So lads have worked well today. They've Cutting down the down the wall, all that snow completed. They've just got to do. They have to put another course of bricks in there, so there's another couple of slabs to go on there. All that's done now. Um, all the KLs are in, ready for that slightly raised area there, which is going to be slabbed tomorrow. Uh, all along here has been done now. Done a cracking job. All the pointing's got to be done, which will be done next weekend when it's all gone off. All down here, in front of the shed. They've just got to put a few bits in around the pipe down there, sort the drain out. But yeah, cracking job. So they'll be back in the morning. Hopefully all that will be finished then tomorrow. Um, as I say, just leaving the pointing up. Fill the fl fill the flower bed with um, put my teeth in. Fill the flower bed with soil. Put some soil on here and I'll seed it. Uh, yeah. Jobs of fish. Thanks. So Sunday the fourth of Feb. The lads have been back again to do some more. Well, I've finished the patio now. Uh, they've just got to come back and do a bit of pointing. So. There's the raised area I've had. So I can have a patio set on there, looking over to the pond. The grow on will go back where it was. All that's done now. Uh, they've just got to, this has been shaped for me, well for Dawn, for her flowers. So they've just got to uh, trim that off, backfill it with soil. Just trim this edge off along here. All the paths are done now. Um, in front of the shed's done. They've put a couple of extra slabs here because when we walk down to the filter shed, um, people tend to walk on the grass. So they've bedded these in for now. And what's going to happen is that's going to be shaped um, to, to blend in. So yeah, all in all, they're not done too bad, considering they have to do it on weekends. So yeah, that's where we're at. I'll give you an update next weekend, when they come back to do the pointing, tidying up. Jobs of fish. Morning guys, Saturday 10th February, 20 past 7, lads are due here this morning, finish off, uh, all they've got left to do is a bit of pointing up, uh, they've got to point all the slabs up, they've sh they come back last night, shaped all this out ready, so they've just got to point all this up. Um, gravel around all the edges, left that open so we've got access to pipe should I need it. Um, I need another step put in here for it's a bit high the step is here so I'm having another step put on here for my mum so she doesn't struggle to get up and down graveling all along there little gravel border all this has got to be um, pointed up 
all the joints have got to be grouted and then hopefully uh, hopefully that should be done today finished off I've sort the fence out there but to be fair uh, my pot my grow on it's down there that will be coming up to there anyway so well my intention I've got a plan for that I've just got to see what the funds are like after all this is done and if I can do what I want it to do so yeah looking good big old area so hopefully today after today I can start bringing all the uh, stuff back onto the patio get my shed back because my shed's full of full of everything at the minute all this is going to be Reese soiled that's Dawn's uh, planting area so all that will be soiled level and then I can tidy all this lot up here paint these I've been told they've got to be grey so I've had my orders yeah so um, after today I should be able to give you a final video I'll come back to you when it's all done thanks guys have a good day Saturday the 10th just cleaning up now fish are uh, looking for some munch So this is Sunday the 11th of Feb, morning after, job's all done. We had this corner filled in because people tend to walk across there anyway. So yeah, that was an afterthought and that was the shout around there. We'll stand up now as well around the edges. Left that out there just in case I need to access the pipes. But yeah, all looking good. I have to have an extra step put in. There's a bit of a bit of dirt on there. Have to well jet wash it off once all the compound's done up. I have to have an extra step put in just there because um, the step up was a bit high for me wanting to get it. I'm doing a cracking job of that little step first. Cables in there for me lamp. got to uh, clean all this this is just from uh, it just comes out the compo from the from when it was rendered shouldn't stain like that though because it's silicon rendered it I don't know. so all in all Keep it the light colour. If you don't seal the slabs, it stays light when it's dry. If you seal the slabs, it will go this darker colour. The one decided on what to do at the minute. The gut feeling is to seal it, because then at least none of the shit will stop. Shiite will stick to it. Um, Got the little raised area here, so the grow on can come back here. But I have got a plan for that, um, and I am going to swap the filter out. I've got a pressure filter on the grow on at the minute, and I'm looking to change it to an easy pod. So, if anybody knows of any easy pods going, um, I've already got a plan for a new grow on, but I want to get. Excuse me, finger in the camera, but I want to get a new. Uh, I want to get change the filter 
when I bring it back up and do it all in one. Shan't be bringing it back up just yet because obviously the, the, the fish are sitting at 16 at the minute and I don't want to disrupt them too much. Because this has raised up now, it's lowered the height of this. Um, which is good to be fair because me being short anyway and most of my family being short we can see over into the top of the pond and looking down on the fish I know it's nice to have the glass window but it's also nice to look down as well and um, the only concern I've got is when the colonel come comes round because he was banging his head before so <laughs> he's definitely going to bang his head now and obviously aid <laughs> Yeah, so I've got to tidy all the garden up now. Get all the, I've got that patio set to come onto here, and then we've got a new patio set set which is taking over my shed at the minute, which is going to take up a lot of the room here. And the better off once these now painting grey. So that will be done. For all in all, we've had the border filled in with soil and shaped, which was a good shout to be fair to have that shaped. There was going to carve um, a koi into it, but I didn't want to go out TT to be fair. I think it's looking quite good. <laughs>